Hello guys, um, today we're going to talk about part 2 of Cry of the Cat. Um, <laughs> this episode aired on October 31st, 1998. It's a 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb with about 100 ish user votes. And if you want to know about the uh, starring actors and the director, I suggest watching part 1. Oh man. Ugh. Well, part. If you watch, I hope you watch part 1. But, um, I. The. Part 2 kind of continues the consistencies and the inconsistencies of Part 1. Um, it really does. I will say this, towards the, 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 the end, the, how the story ends, that whole, the tone and all that kind of makes a bit more sense. It kind of helps it a bit, the whole twist at the end. But in all honesty, I just feel like that... Overall, I felt like the two-parter was just too ambitious. It just feels like it should have been meant for something with a bigger budget and probably for a slightly older audience. Now, I'm not saying, like, an audience of, like, 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 hard R, but maybe something more on the lines of maybe, like, all right, maybe an R, or maybe at least PG-13, or if it was going to go for kids, maybe handle its tone and stuff with a bit more maturity, because this kind of mean-spiritedness just feels like immature mean-spiritedness, and it just really isn't appealing. I mean, it's done well, but it is still. <laughs> and that's really the problem with the two-parter. Um, it is so, like, half and half you almost have to check it out for yourself to figure out if you like it or not. Because you may like it. Um, there's other episodes in Goosebumps that have a, that have are in the 6.0 range on IMDb that I do reasonably like. But this one, this one's kind of weird because, for example, special effects are awesome. The score... The score isn't really anything too memorable. It's kind. It's not very good, in all honesty. It's very. There's a lot of stock music, and it's just bleh. Um, but um, acting's fine. I, I mentioned this before, but for part two, all the goods stay consistent. Um, the goods and the bads are pretty much consistent. I will say this: the the climax and the ending kind of save the part two part a bit, and it kind of makes everything make a touch more sense. But Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it just, it's just, it's hard to really, it, it's easy to criticize and easy to praise. And it's just something that you almost have to watch for yourself. So if you want to, if you want to, if you're a curious, diehard Goosebumps fan, and if you want to try something that you haven't really watched when you were a kid, go ahead but if you're just looking for the episodes, like the good episodes of Goosebumps, this isn't it. There's moments in it, but not consistent. I, I, I maybe, I will say this, and maybe I laughed once or twice at some of the lines, or chuckled maybe at a few, just because they're parodying something, and it's just kind of... And some some of it works, but I feel like a lot of that parody writes on cliches. And sure, it may work fine for kids, but I feel like even if you were a kid, you would kind of be like, uh, I don't know, you know. It's just it's just kind of weird like that. And I don't know. I say I admire the practical effects. There's maybe one or two CGI shots that are kind of cringeworthy, but nothing that really. I don't think that really sticks around that long. Um, and, yeah, as far as scare factor, there are definitely some disgusting moments, and there are some makeup work that I actually find kind of impressing. Most of that's in the second parter. But, yeah, it's a good story. I just didn't think it was... I think just elements of it were handled well and elements of it weren't handled well. So, if you're kind of starving for goosebumps... You probably, this isn't the worst, by all means, but it's definitely a weird one to do. It almost reminds me of Don't Go to Sleep, only it, only this one has more better elements than Don't Go to Sleep. It kind of has a little bit of that weird adultness of Don't Go to Sleep, but it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that little shitty camera angles, and it doesn't really, 
and it and this one actually has some good use of horror ingredients like spe like makeup and special effects and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, that's why I have to say about the two parter. Um, <laughs> I say watch it if watch it if you're starving for something. But if you just want to watch the good Goosebump episodes and say fuck to the rest of them, you may want to skip this one unless unless you're willing to take a gamble. But um, but yeah, that's I have to say about it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos. And only two episodes two episodes left until uh, the overall summary. Um. And, oh man, it's, ugh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.